So this is going to be a short recording before I do the full lecture, because uh, we're going to be talking about C++ today. But let's go over Mincarelli's implementation of FizzBuzz. It's pretty standard. Um, it took him nine minutes to write it, which is under the 10 minute limit you get at most companies. It's pretty pretty straightforward. The mistake that most people make is that they started at a zero instead of a, a one, because the standard pattern in C++ is um, zero to less than 100. But for FizzBuzz, you go from one to 100, and that usually gets most people. And then uh, you note that he used uh, modulus 15 instead of both modulus 5 and modulus 3 because uh, math actually works out that way. It's a little bit faster doing it that way, not as if his buzz takes that long. So there you go. There's, uh, there's your answer. Now, uh, if you want, um, here, let me just show you how it works. So let's say you code up a solution like that and you compile it. And if the compile is correct, you don't see anything on the screen, you run the input tester. And the input tester is like test passed. You're good to go. Okay. The auto grader will collect your 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 code and compile it and test it for you. So when you're done with an assignment, you don't turn in anything. Just leave it in your directory. Um, don't move it. Like some sometimes students like finish a project and then they like move their their directory or something and then they get a zero because it's not there anymore. So the thing literally grabs it out of your directory. So just leave it there once you're done with it. Um, the uh, the auto grader, um, if you're curious, like if you're not getting something right, like there's a student who had like an off by one error or whatever, um, let's see if it's there. Okay, fixed it. Um, but it'll it'll have a little arrow saying it said like fizzbuzz, and that meant he had an extra um, he had an extra um, fizzbuzz being output. And so you can, oh, these are actually files. You can actually vim this file slash public slash fizzbuzz slash input file zero to see what the input is. The input's actually empty because fizzbuzz doesn't hey, take the input. Kearney, you're not streaming. Yeah. I'm not streaming? I just want to look. Yeah, you're not streaming. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Um, there we go. And then, um, uh, and then if you want to look at the output file, the, uh, the output file is here under slash public fizzbuzz output file zero. So let me, uh, yeah. Uh, so if you if you were to vim slash public slash fizzbuzz slash output file zero, you can see what the answer is supposed to be. And you can look at this, and you can look at the output of your code and figure out uh, what you're doing wrong. And the, the input tester itself does the diff. It shows you the difference between your output and the official output. Now, um, let me show you uh, my implementation of fizzbuzz. You guys ready for this? You guys ready? You want to see FizzBuzz? I'm going to warm my hands here. All right. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, let's make sure I don't have anything in main.cc. Okay. All right. You guys ready? All right. Start the timer now. That was a tough one. All right. <laughs> so uh, don't do this on your homework assignments. But um, I just I catted the uh, output file. So cat uh, will dump the contents of a file to um, the screen, and so my program is literally just outputting the output file, and then it pass it. It'll it'll pass the test. So. <laughs> the uh, nine second fizz buzz uh, speed run yeah uh, <laughs> um, but don't do this on your actual homeworks like this this one year I had a student who was like hey why did I get a zero I passed all the test cases and so I open up his his source code and it was all like you know if x is equal to three then you know cat output file zero if x is equal to ten he was just like reading like the first number out of the input and then like selecting the output file and you know, all right for that one we'll print out output file one you know he's like doing this and i'm like bro no like no and the reason why you got a zero is because the actual test cases i used are slightly different for exactly this reason so they're all going to be testing the same thing like i might be testing the left edge of an array or the right edge of the array or numbers in the middle or something like that like the tests are all going to be testing the same things but they're slightly different for exactly this reason, so that you can't just like hard code a solution like this into it. So, 
Uh, yeah, so it, it, it's a trick that could work on Fizzbuzz, and if you want to do it for your assignment, like, I don't care. It's, it's two points, who cares? Uh, it, it's not going to make any difference. Like, fizz, the Fizzbuzz assignment is just there for you to um, learn how the system works, to learn how, um, you know, to submit homework on the, on the server. It's not a serious test of your abilities. Although, it, it might be, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so let me stop the stream, and then we're going to start on the real lecture.